Ladies and gentlemen, from Redding, California, this is your friend, the Gamers Miguel. His name is Millikan. He ran this experiment and he proves that he measured the charge of electrons. How does it do it? Let's see if I can show you this. I'm hoping that I can show. Oh, no, okay. So, what he's doing is this, guys. He sprays regular oil that you're using in your car, tiny droplets of oil are passing through this tiny hole. And then he applies X-ray, X-ray ejecting electrons from air. So electrons are flying inside the space. Droplets gather negatively charged electrons. And then he's connecting the top to the positive charge, the bottom to the negative charge. The charge of electron is attracted to the positive plate. At some point, droplets are suspended in there. They're attracted to positive charge. The fact that it has the mass and weight of the droplets, there is a formula that you can measure attraction between two charged particles. He calculates the charge of electrons. This is the charge of electron. J.J. Thompson has the ratio of charge to mass. He can calculate mass. So that's what we first found out. Matter, you and I are made of the atoms. The atoms have negatively charged particles. And then they did some tests. Atoms are neutral. If you take atom, if you take some copper between positive and negative terminal, it's not attracted or repelled by negative or positive charges. That means atoms are neutral. So everybody said, yes, there are negatively charged electrons in the atom, but there must be positive charge, equal positive charge, because atoms are neutral. So Thompson says, this is what atom looks like. There are negatively charged electrons. And think of a chocolate chip cookies, he says. It says positive charge are the cookies, negative charges are chocolate chips. And they have equal charges. But this was not accepted by scientists. The concept was not acceptable. Another guy runs an experiment. His name is Rutherford. He gets Nobel, for, Nobel Prize for this. In this experiment, he proves that he had a very thin piece of gold is passing positively charged particles, radioactive particles, they are called alpha particles, to positive charges, will bounce back, some of them. Some of them went through. Based on his experiment, he's concluding that atoms have positive charge in a tiny space inside atom, which is called Nucleus, inside nucleus, that's where the positive charges are. And he says, the size of the atom is 20,000 times larger than the size of the nucleus. Nucleus is tiny. Let's say it's a baseball. It's a tennis ball. It's a tennis ball inside a football field. Football field is the size of the atom. In the center of football field, there is a tennis ball sitting there. So that is size of the nucleus. So the structure of atoms, nucleus, composed of protons and neutrons. Size of the nucleus, 10 to minus 15 meters. Size of the atom, 10 to minus 10. Is this almost 100,000 times larger than the nucleus? So at the time, scientists said, oh wow, the universe is full of emptiness. Electrons at far distance, nucleus in center. But later on, we found out that electrons are not really a particle orbiting at this distance, they are everywhere. They are scattered everywhere in this space. We'll talk about that. That's called quantum mechanics. Okay. 
So guys, now we show an element with a symbol. Atomic number is coming above the table, and atomic number shows number of protons. So guys, look at the periodic table. What is atomic number of carbon? How many protons in carbon? Six is correct. Do you see the number on the top? The symbol is C, yes? Carbon, right here. What is the number on the top? Six. That's atomic number, so six protons. And Atomic number of lithium is three. What does it mean? It means it has got three protons and three electrons. How many neutrons? We don't know. Neutrons depends on the mass number. And if I look at the subatomic particles, protons positive charge, electrons negative charge, neutrons are neutral. So these are the subatomic particles, protons with positive charge. Neutrons, no charge. The mass is almost the same as protons. Electrons have such a tiny mass there, 2,000 times smaller than protons. So really, mass of atom is mass of nucleus. Electrons have almost zero charge. OK, so guys. Go oh, guys, go ahead. One team and two and three and four, five, six, seven. Oh, you all got it. Good job. Yes or no? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yes. So do electron shells, are they all separate or do they like entangle with each other? No, they are separate. Energy wise, they are separate. Yes. Uh, and there are certain energy levels that can be occupied. It says energy is quantized in atoms. If you apply energy to atoms, electrons are going to be higher energy. But if the package of energy you are giving is smaller than the difference between the two levels, energy is not going to be absorbed. What's your name? Riley. Riley, good, good question. What's your major? OK. Seem to know more than you're supposed to know for this course. Good job. Are you watching uh, Discovery Channel? How do you get that information? Yes. OK, yeah, you're good at science. I can tell. All right, guys. Can I say number of protons and electrons are equal together? Because they have same charge, but opposite. An atom is supposed to be neutral, right? So if I give you atomic number, which is number of protons, you already know number of electrons. Yes? OK. So if I say hydrogen, which is shown by symbol H, atomic number is 1. Therefore, it has got one proton. It has got one electron and zero neutron. And mass number is 1. Atomic mass, we are going to say atomic mass is 1 because it has 1 proton. Mass of 1 proton is called 1 atomic mass unit. So 1 AMU is the mass. Nitrogen, atomic number 7. The mass number is 14. 
If there is seven protons, there must be seven neutrons. They must add up to be 14. Number of electrons, the same as number of protons. Let me write this on the board. Some of you are giving me threatening look. So I better write this on the board. Guys, if I say iron with mass number 56, iron mass number 56, if we are talking about iron 56, what is atomic number of iron? Go ahead, look it up on the table. Give me atomic number. Atomic number for iron. 26, yes? This is called atomic number, the lower left number, atomic number. This is called mass number. Mass number shows number of protons and neutrons. Atomic number shows number of protons. If I want to decide number of neutrons, I have to write 56 minus 26. Does this make sense? So you need mass number and atomic number to determine number of neutrons. Guys, if I say hydrogen, hydrogen one, atomic number of one, how many protons? One, one proton. How many neutrons? Zero, Zero neutrons. How many electrons? One, one electron. What if I say hydrogen 2? This is hydrogen as well. It's just a different atom of hydrogen. How many protons? Yeah. Yes. So one proton. How many neutrons? One, one neutron. How many electrons? One. one electron. What if I say hydrogen 3? What's the difference? How many protons? One. How many neutrons? Two. How many electrons? One. Yes, no, one. one is correct. I was wrong. So what do we call these different atoms of the same element, which are only different by their number of neutron? Yes. So many of you said it. Good job. I like that. Isotopes, these are isotopes. of hydrogen. So isotopes are different atoms of the same element with different number of neutrons. OK. So if I want to show atomic symbol, mass number appears on the top. Atomic number appears on the bottom left. Top left, mass number. Bottom left, atomic number, the difference shows number of neutrons, yes? Do that make sense? Do you have any question? You're doing very well. I know you're tired, but you're paying attention. Thank you for doing that. Mamisha, right? Mamisha. <coughs> One of these days, I'll learn. Yes, Teresa. Yes. Is there, what, what was your reason for that? Okay, guys, Teresa is asking, how come using the table, atomic number is appearing on the top? But when I'm showing symbols of iron, I show atomic number on bottom left, top shows the mass number. Because if I have three hydrogens here, you see I have three hydrogens here? Really, the table shows one place for hydrogen. So how do I get the mass of hydrogen when I have three different hydrogens? I get weighted average of all of these for hydrogen. So different conversions. The number appears on underneath the hydrogen is showing mass of, of an average atom of hydrogen. But when I'm talking about a special element, a special isotope, the convention is different. Yes, yes. Two different 
conventions, and it is confusing. Atomic number appears above the element in table, but I'm showing a specific symbol for a specific isotope appears on the bottom left. Mass number does not appear in periodic table because mass depends on which isotope I'm talking about. So the number you see is atomic mass is average of all different isotopes and their different percentage. Good point. Yes, they are different. So guys, go guys. Together, help each other with your team. See if you can answer this question. I think you can. I bet you can. Some teams are very interactive. Some teams, some teams are not talking together. They are not helping each other. Get your partners involved. You shouldn't have any silent partners. One team and two, thank you. And three and four and five and six, yes. Seven, yes, doing well today, Marina. Eight, nine, nine teams, 10, yes. That's Sharon's team. Yes, that's Liz. Liz team, yes. Yes, that's my team. That's Neil's team. Yes. Oh, oh. What's your name? Brandon. Brandon or Brandon? Brandon, thank you. And that's it. Guys, does this make sense? Yes? Are we almost there? You want to do one more? Go. Do this one. Yes, that's this. Is your team with you, Did Do they talk to you? Make them talk. Help them. Make sure everybody is involved. Thank you. All right. Thank you. One team. Holly. Thank you. Holly's team. This team, that's two teams. Yes. Yes, you can. Say, of course, say, I know you. I have been knowing you forever. Previous lives. Four, five, six. I need more show of hands. Yes, seven, eight. Eight teams, nine teams. I need more show of hands. Help each other. Make sure everybody is with you in your team. Does this make sense? 